first session, Sam? Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, it's always going to be tough in pre-season, but it's exciting to be back around, back around the boys. And obviously, there's a lot of new faces, um, you know, on the field and also in the coaching panel as well, which is uh, yeah, pretty exciting. Looked like uh, VB won the time trial again, and danger up there as well. So some good solid runs here. Yeah, I didn't quite catch who won. I was a bit bit back, but uh, yeah, from what I heard, I think VB got it pretty comfortably, and then um, and then danger, which was great, great for him to obviously come back in, in great nick too. Sounds like you boys are going to have a really tough pre-season. The coach has spoken about that. Is that something you're looking forward to, and perhaps stepping up from last year, perhaps? Yeah, I am. Um, obviously, we you know we had a pretty pretty hard review on um, you know everyone last year, and. That's the one thing we're looking forward to is, is having another um, really good hard pre-season. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of running involved, and um, you know you'll see a lot of you know slimmer boys getting around come come games time, and that's the way the game's going now. So we need to make sure we're, we're running out games. What have you sort of learnt that you want to put into place this pre-season and heading into next season that you learnt from this year as a team, or as for you personally? Personally, um, the thing I want to get back is just consistency. I reckon. Um, you know, during pre-season, I reckon that's where I can get my most improvement. Is, is you know, every session making sure I'm getting the most out of it and and training with purpose. Um, you know, obviously last year was wasn't the year I wanted to have, but you know, I learned so much last year, and I think you know, there's a lot of things I can take going forward. What are the the expectations amongst you guys as players of what you can do next season? Yeah, obviously, you know, we're not going to put a, a cap on anything, and um, you know, obviously. Um, you know, we're, we're very confident in the group we've got and, um, you know, we've made some list changes and we're, we think we've improved the list, um, you know, especially in the forward line, um, you know, as a, as a main one. So, um, you know, we're not putting a cap on anything and, you know, we're excited for the year to start. Just on that forward line, what, what do you think Betts and Podsy Adley will, will bring to the team? How excited are you to have them on board? Yeah, I think it will be great, um, first of all, with, with um, having Podsy Adley on board. Um, you know, I think he's 32, he's played, you know, 10 to 15 years of, of high level footy so you know we got a lot of young guys up forward and I think um, you know he'll support Bix um, up forward on, on field so uh, and, and obviously Eddie um, you know his tackling's um, you know a major part of his game and I think that's something that's really going to help us in, in terms of pressing the ball on and hopefully get a lot of forward 50 turnovers. What did you make of Betts out there today just watching him train up close? And Yeah obviously, obviously I've, I've uh, trained with him in the past but um, you know he's obviously pretty exciting on the track he's He's actually pretty vocal out there. He's, he's, you know, he's only his second session already, and he's already telling blokes what to do. So, um, you know, he's come back in really good nick, and, and you know, it's been documented about how he's come back early. So he's excited about the year and, and about the change. So I think there's been something the AFL has just released this morning about concussion making it safer for players. Um, what do you make of that from a player's perspective? Is that a good thing? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, you know, I've got as a player, I've got full confidence in our, in our. Um, you know, doctors and, and trainers and all that with that sort of stuff. You know, player safety is obviously the number one thing. So, um, in terms of that, I think the doctors, you know, all the players have full confidence in them. Is it just that even in the time you've been playing, concussion treated differently now to, to when you started, more of a, a big issue, you think, amongst players? Uh, yeah, it has changed. Um, I think the AFL made a great move last year with that, um, you know, that I think it was 15 minute sub or something like that. So, um, I think that was a great move and, and it gives, um, you know, the medical team a bit more time to be able to deal with it. And not, you know, not feeling like they're under pressure to get, you know, if it's a danger field or a Sloan or someone, to, you know, to quickly rush them back on it gives them a chance to, to make sure they're all checked out properly. Just the first time the group's been together as a whole, what's what was sort of the message from Santa and the coaches before you hit and about what's in store for you and what you're going to try and achieve, I guess, in this pre-Christmas bit? Yeah, I guess, obviously, uh, you know, after we had our review last year, it's about, um, you know, we've had our time away, but let's not forget the things we've spoken about. You know, that's coming back and... Making sure, you know, as I mentioned before, um, just making sure we're training with purpose and, and everyone's improving, you know, on everything that, you know, we sort of we sort of said we would at the end of last year. So uh, it's been a great positive start. I think I think the coaches are really happy with all the Nick, uh, all the boys who come back in, and I think there's been some pretty good running results. Just I guess this time last year too, there was a lot of off-field stuff happening at the club that's not around this year. Does that, does that make it easier just to concentrate on the job at hand? You know, as players, that you know that didn't really affect us, but you know, you do you do know what's going on in the background. Um, you know, I think there's been some great additions to the club, um, you know, on and off the field and, you know, some exciting players and, um, you know, our membership's up already. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to get, getting 60,000, um, you know, getting to Adelaide Oval. I think it's going to be a very exciting <coughs> year in 2014 for the Crows.